cutting it kind of close there, ain't we? I'm gonna have fun backing out of this one. What's going on everybody? Good morning. James with That's Right Lawn Care here. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we're doing. Uh, as you can see, I'm up on the roof. The crepe myrtle right over there at the corner of the road is getting cut down. It's getting cut all the way down. But right now, jumped up on the roof. I've got a couple of branches just to kind of clean away from the house. And there's some small bushes along the ditch line over there and then some small bushes down here that are getting cleared up but let's get started hey can you catch yes, all right i'm gonna throw the camera down uh here i'll just plop it down perfect Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, come down. All right, so as you can see here, there is a holly with uh, some wild growing in it. Uh, we're actually taking out this whole bush. Customer did not want it. Leaving that, this is getting trimmed up. This is getting trimmed up. Um, and of course the weeds cut out of it that's getting tamed that's getting shaped cutting that down i'm um, just limbing up the sides of this crepe myrtle uh, just to kind of clean it up a bit i'm um, gonna we'll hit get the weeds out of that azalea and kind of shape it and shape that one and then this is the crepe myrtle that is coming down to the ground so, as you can see, well, there's bees all over the place. We'll get in here. As you can see, this thing has been stumped before. Because for the size of it, they actually, an excavator came out when they were digging this ditch and putting in, uh, or I guess just digging the ditch up. He actually took an excavator and dug the stump out of this thing uh, which is what the customer was telling me and it actually grew back so we're going to take it down to the ground i've told the lady the customer you know i can go ahead and drill you some holes in it and you can go and get some liquid stump grinder of course i don't have a license to do any kind of uh, herbicides or or anything like that so told her i'll drill the holes you can go pour that liquid stump grinder in there and just get it taken care of that way so 
Also in the fall when we come back, there is a row of crepe myrtles right here that we will be trimming. So, let's get to it. Right, guys it's time to cut this crepe myrtle down uh the tools we're gonna be using what should we use i got the steel hs82r hedge trimmers the steel ms170 chainsaw and some fisker loppers what's gonna work best what do you think's gonna work best uh, start off with the loppers that way you can get in to cut with the chainsaw okay i think we're gonna do that let's give it a shot
And she is gone. Look, it looks like there's a gas line buried right there. Well, the crepe has been murdered. The job is done. Time to seek work elsewhere. I've got another small job to do today. And then we might get some mowing done. But my wife just called me and she said, she's like three or four miles down the road. She said, hey, is it raining there? I said, no. She said, well, we're getting rained on. I said, okay. But I think it's just swooping south of us right now, but we're supposed to be getting some rain sometime today. Hopefully, because we could use it. So I'm actually supposed to be cutting this yard Monday. And like it hadn't grown much. There's still some some Dallas grass and stuff that's up, but I mean the grass really isn't growing all too much. So but I mean it's up enough that if we cut it, it's gonna make a difference. It's gonna look better. Of course, with all the heat you can see a bunch of these leaves have been falling. And uh of course we'll chop those up and make it look good. So I think we're just about done here. All right, job number one done. How was it? It was fairly simple. It went pretty pretty smoothly too, so we got everything done. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about, how that crepe myrtle was kinda in the way. You can see the road here. That thing was blocking all visibility and it was just kind of dangerous. So now it is out of the way and we are good to go. Let's go do another job. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. All right, guys, we just pulled up the second job of the day. Uh, it's quite a mess back here. Uh, as you can see, it has grown over quite a bit. We actually cut this yard Tuesday and cleared a bunch of stuff off of the fence line. But we're about to get started tackling this pile. We're doing it in sections. Um, it's, I, I like to work with people as much as possible. She couldn't afford to get everything cut down at once. So we're gonna do it in sections for her. And right now we're gonna be tackling this, that, that big pile. What's up, Jeremy? What's up? <laughs> And I'm going to take this little tree down and then this just to help get some more view of the road there. So we're going to get started on that. The uh, homeowner actually did, a, did quite a bit of work out here. Um, just kind of cutting some stuff down. So you can see we really haven't started cutting anything yet. Um, all this stuff was already cut. She got out here with her electric chainsaw and actually got us about a half a trailer full. And as you can see, this is gonna be fun to back out of, but we will get backed out. It's not a very busy road. Uh, cars do tend to fly down this road. I actually grew up on the next street. I don't know what was just on me, but it was freaking me out, man. So I grew up on the next street over, that's actually where we're gonna be taking everything to, to put in a burn pile. So we're gonna to get to work cutting some of this stuff down and I've already got a lot of cutting footage, but I just wanted to show you all this job and I'll show you whenever we get finished with it. Uh, I'm not gonna put a bunch of, bunch of cutting in here. He's cutting. Um, I'm not gonna put a bunch of cutting in this video for this job. So we're gonna to get to work and uh, I'll show you some footage here in a second. And there we have it. Look, we found a bird bath and it was all laid over, so we put it back up. But yeah, there was a bird bath in that mess. So, got it all done. The little tree that was over there hanging over the fence is gone. And this mess right here is gone. And this is a second trailer load. And I'm not strapping it down just because we are literally going 15 miles an hour down a road and we will be at the dump site the burn pit whatever you want to call it so you ready to back me out yes sir all right 
Yeah, see you in a few. All right, guys, we just pulled up to this uh, empty lot. Got all the all the fun trimming stuff done today. Just got this. <laughs> just got this lot. So, uh, we mowed it two weeks ago, and it hadn't really grown much. But you can see, like, there's some Dallas coming up. There's some crab. Um, but we're going to get to it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Done for the day. We got this one and one more left, and no sense in recording it. Today's going to be about trimming, uh, brush clearing, and stuff like that. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Rock out. Rock out, y'all. So, uh, if y'all haven't yet hit that subscribe button, shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Say bye. Perfect.